Okay, so, awesome. this is the second part to um, stormy clouds, stormy seas, probably stormy clouds, it's more like stormy clouds than seas, first one. Uh, 30 by 30 canvas. As explained in part one, um, I ordered this oh, milk paint. Um, thought it was white to use for the clouds, um, but opened it and found it was grey. So I do want to use it. So I'm doing things the opposite way round to what I've just done them in the previous video. So this has been mixed with um, Payne's Grey and uh, two parts um, flow troll and water to thin it out. So it's quite, I don't know if you can see, this is quite light actually. So what I might do afterwards again is, is embellish this um, with darker paints over the top. Um, to add some depth. Just wondering if that's a little bit too thick. The paint just runs straight off, runs straight in, doesn't create a mound, so probably okay. The white in this case is, um, where's my whites? It's, it's this one here actually. This is very cheap white paint from the range and sometimes they do three for two, um, about seven pounds for this, seven fifty, thereabouts. Um, I have never had an issue with it. So this has been mixed with, um, again, two to one and water to thin down. But from my last video, I used the B&Q house paint and I mixed up two cups. Um, with the house paint and the satin enamels and water to thin and I just dumped the cup I didn't use into here so I guess this is the right old mixture and I have no idea how this is going to work out so here we go I just grabbed my torch I've just mixed up these paints actually so there's air bubbles <clears throat> This is a, um, an old canvas, again, that I've scraped off. That's why there's bits all over it. But I have painted around the sides, again, with just a bit of titanium white. My paints are definitely thicker than last time. That might be a good thing or a bad thing. So let's see how this goes.
can see that straight away there is not enough white so give me a minute and I will be back with some more white. So I'm back with some more um, white paint. I don't think the milk paint's done anything to be honest in the in the grey. Um, so I've just dumped a bit of satin enamel um, in this white in the hope that it'll create some kind of reaction so here we go. So Melly D did a series a little while ago on her YouTube channel and um, Simple is Best and I have to say I agree with her. Sometimes just two colours work really well. really the effect I was going for. I wonder what else I could do with it.
So this isn't really what I was going for. I think um, my paint was far too thick. Um, but it is quite dramatic in its own way. Um, I don't think it looks like clouds or sea anymore. But we'll see how it dries. Um, and if I can work on it anymore when it's dry, um, we'll see. Okay, stay tuned for the dried results. Um, and again, this is two days later. It's nowhere near dry, it's still quite wet. So it's cooking away in my drying rack. Um, but it's, it's good actually to spend time looking at a painting for a couple of weeks before you decide to do anything else with it. Um, now if you look closely at this one, let me zoom in. It's vastly different to the other one, but I can see uh, feathers in here, which I want to make them stand out um, on the finished painting. So what I will do is I will go over the um, outlines of the feathers with a darker colour. So bring some darkness to the foreground so that this begins to drop back in the background. Um, so hopefully that will give quite a good effect and um, with this negative space down at the bottom. Um, so I didn't want to wait another three weeks before I uploaded this video. So um, yeah, there you go. That's it. So. Maybe in a couple of weeks, there'll be a time-lapse uh, showing the embellishment. Thank you.